Now, this is the, the fly I'm going to be tying. Now what this is, is a combination of two local patterns. Uh, one they call the Red Devil, which is basically at the back. And the front part is really the part of a, a fly we call the Ayrshire Red Shrimp, or some call it the Curry's Red. Now I'm going to show you the, the two. This is the Red Devil, just basically the bucktail jungle cock. And this is the Ayrshire Red Shrimp tied on the tube. Uh, as you see, he's got the yellow stuff in that jungle cock. So it's a good fly, it's a good fly tied on a, obviously, a double or whatever. But this is just a quick, or a combination of two, the hot orange or fluorescent orange tubing at the back for the treble is basically there, or double or, or single, whatever you're using, uh, just to hold the sleeve. But it, and when the water's a wee bit coloured, I like to use the this this silicon tubing this year, just to lift it in the, the darker water, but it fishes well without that, it's just a clear one on it, you can put whatever colour you like. But anyway, it's very easy to tie, it's a simple fly. Now, half the tube is copper, uh, basically the copper itself. These are slipstream tube, tubes from vineyards, these ones here. Uh, and this three quarter inch in this case, I like tying them half inch, three quarters and one inch. It's a good pattern, you can go bigger if you want. Uh, but in our local waters, the tubes work extremely well. Uh, I mean, I just use a floating line all the time, mainly through the, the summer months and so uh, the tube gets down, it's a small water and it pops in, it just gets to the depth. And you can hang it. I had four nice fish in this fly, this, this actual fly here, uh, the other day, so that's just why I'm going to show it. And a friend of mine is fishing the stench right now and and he's doing extremely well because he, he tied up some for himself. So it's certainly worth having. And you can mess about with the colour. I do. There's other versions where it's orange at the back, uh, which is great. You can really gun colours, yellow or orange. Uh, you can have a black aqua at the front and so on. There's lots of, it's a good style, just as I say. You can mess about with it. But this is the, the, the one that I do. So a red thread. Which is going to help colour the head up, uh, it makes the head a wee bit brighter. But we, if we start at the top of the tube, now I have waxed the thread, so plenty of grip. And I'm going to come down just short to halfway, and we then tie in some bucktail. This is just a, a red bucktail from Vineyards. And a good pinch of red bucktail. Now I'm going to stack it, just to bring the tips in, just to get the best of the hair. Tips first into the stacker, just a large, a large stacker. Now you can make this as heavy as you like, you can change the colour, you can change red, that's obviously the red version, there's orange, there's orange yellow, uh, works really well, now, you can change the colours at the front. It's, once you have a good style of fly, this, you could mess about with the colour combination. Now you're looking for a, a tail length, around about twice the length of the, the tube. Now, first thing we do is make sure we wax with thread. Get my length, so there's one. So it's twice the length of the tube. Off the back, just quickly, just roll this round. Spread the fibre with the thread as we turn, come round. Like two or three turns to secure it, and then use your fingers, keeping the thread tight, just check to see if the bucktail's all the way around, and that's fine. So what I'm going to do is just basically come up three or four turns or more, and then trim away the excess. About a head length will be from the end of the tube. It's a very simple style, it's very quick. I'm just going to wax my thread, I'm just going to carry on up, just making sure this is well tied in. Now I'm going to use a silver tinsel, oval tinsel, for the rib. I'm just going to tie this in the way down. It's tight. And then a yellow floss, this is just a bright yellow floss, this is from uh, from uni. Just 
Scratch that on, pull it in full length of the body. Always supporting the tube as I wind the thread up. I'm just going to wax the thread at this point. Make sure there's plenty of grip when I go to tie the materials off. It's a nice straight turn at the back. And bring my floss up. You could use a yellow thread if you wish to keep the yellow brighter, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't really bother me. Make sure you're nice and tight. Tie off your floss, turn and trim away the waste. We bring my rib up, nice straight turn at the back. Nice and tight. Keep it really tight. Wind your rib up, round about you get four turns or so. Secure it in. check now it's fine. Then I'm going to wax my thread and then put a nice base of thread down for my hackle. Hackles are what's from what I keep from whiting. This for this one here, this is a silver badger. And I'll show you what it's called there. It's a Brahma rooster cape, silver badger. They make lovely hackles, really good. Now, what you can do is you can put your hackle on first, then jungle cock, or you can put jungle cock on, and then the hackle it's in up, up to yourself. Now I'm going to actually put on the jungle cock first. So I've got two jungle cock, good length, the one at the length of the tube. So I'll pull back what I don't need here. Take away the fluff. Let's get it the length of the tube. Now this is not the best jungle cock in the world, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's, once it's in the water, it's fine. Just off it so it's laying on either side. And these three or four turns are reasonably loose, so that you can position the, the jungle cock. Now that's fine. So you wax your thread. Tie it down. Now I fold these, these stems back. Just fold them back. It'll never, obviously never get quite a break off so they'll not pull out. So trim away these stems. And with split jungle cock, I mean within five minutes of fishing the, the fly, your jungle cock will start to split. But once it's in the water it's fine, it swims with the rest of the fly. Don't use anything to stiffen them up. They'll swim with the rest of the fly. And if you haven't got them, just leave it. Just leave them off. Now we've got a large Hackle, I'm going to tie it in close to the tip. Now you can fold the hackle, you can do it in your fingers if you want, before you start, or you can fold it, fold it when it's on the fly, you just push it through your fingers. I guess it started, it doesn't have to be completely folded perfect, as long as it's started. Now I usually tie in the tip, as I say, wax your thread, a couple of turns, fold back the tip, tuck it back, nice and tight. There's a tip there. So we trim this away. And then what we do is, is just do it. I mean, it's, the turns is up to yourself. Uh, you can make it as light or as heavy as you want. Now I'm going to do, I was doing three turns for this size. And follow around. Nice and tight with the thread, make sure it's secure, trim away the waste. So we fibre there, I'm just going to draw it back, use the thread turns to hold it. And the whip finish. Now we change the colour, the colour of the, the tube. Or well, the head, sorry, using the glow bright floss. And this is glow bright number four. So it's a fluorescent red. So all I'm going to do is, well, I like to wax it to be honest with you. It gives a wee bit more grip. This is just a, 
I like wax from vineyards. Don't use a dark wax, you know, just lose the colour. And then basically just tie it on. A nice base on. Just like you could use a varnish, it's up to yourself. I like using the, the glow bright flosses. Quick finish, you're like in a couple of turns or so. That's all we need. Turn it away. And then to make sure it's solid, I'm using super glue. Just touching the head all the way around. Now allow that to dry, and once it's dry, a uh, couple of coats of varnish, and it'll be nice and bright. Now you can use, like a, in the, the actual fly, uh, this one, yeah, the fluorescent tubing at the back, uh, Just this is a silicon tubing from Veneers, and you just slip that one, slip it on at the back, just to hold your, your hook, or you use a barber, so I use... We can use a, a single barbless hook, I don't know if I have any here, a double, uh, it's up to yourself, I catch and release anyway so I debar my hooks, uh, put more, I put all the fish back, um, which is an option, you're allowed to take fish but um, just now I'd rather return the fish. So anyway, that's your variant, uh, the red devil, an Ayrshire red com combination, it's, it's a good pattern, it's a good style. And as I say, you can change the colours to actually suit yourself. Uh, take it away from the tube. So you can see it. Even better, I'll put it on another pin. And you can see how, I mean, it's a, it's a nice shrimpy fly. I mean, it'll work anywhere. Uh, the red devil is a, it's a good pattern. Uh, the, the red shrimp, or the Ayrshire or curry shrimp, shrimp, some would call it. Is a good partner as well, and uh, so if you're combining the two, you, you'll not get wrong. It's as simple as that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Give it a go. If you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe. Uh, it always helps. And thank you for watching.